Hi everyone, this is Erica Slayton, Wallach and Volk Mortgage. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we are sitting here with my dear friend Shannon Miller with Versatile Insurance Planners. She is going to help answer some of the frequently asked questions that I get and I know that homeowners ask on a regular basis. So hopefully this will also help the realtors out there too. Absolutely. So, Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I so appreciate it. I'm Absolutely. so glad you're doing this. Great. There are so many misconceptions about insurance out there and protecting our homeowners is our utmost importance. So Absolutely. Awesome. I'm so glad you're doing this. Yes, me too. And again, I know you're busy, so thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. So we have some questions and the first one is what does the basic homeowners policy cover? Your basic homeowners policy, all homeowners policies are going to be different. Um, most of them cover fire, smoke, wind damage, or hail if it's not excluded, riot, objects falling on the house. There's many different coverages on a home policy. The big thing is the endorsements on each policy. Okay, so that, that actually brings me to one of the questions I actually just got yesterday in a loan application. One of my borrowers said, what does the homeowners policy not cover? So what would be extra? What would be extra? Water damage is in, is definitely of most importance to me on your homeowner's policy. We want water damage included. It's not included on all homeowner's policies. Let's say you have a your water heater in the attic on the third floor and the water is now seeping down. We want that all the water damage, the sheetrock, the flooring, everything repaired from that damage. Foundation is also another endorsement that is added onto home policies to make it a little bit more comprehensive. And sewer backup is also a very important coverage. A lot of the times yes. I get policies from insureds or from homeowners um, and they don't have these major Coverage. coverages yes. included with it. And it just, it just it, it, my heart goes out to them because that's just so important. Most of the time when we get a claim, it's gonna be wind or hell or it's going to be a water damage claim right and, and they I, it, and god forbid a foundation claim those things will get skyrocketed mm -hmm. and a huge bill on those and i've actually had a client who had sewer backup and didn't have the coverage so Oof. please please make sure you've got all the coverages needed that's why you have an insurance planner such as shannon to be able to customize your insurance for you uh, as a matter of fact, when we were preparing for this video, I decided that I may need to spruce up my policy just a little bit with her, so we'll be doing that <laughs> later after the video is over. So, uh, what deductible options are there? There's insurance? many different. There are 1% is the standard mm -hmm. in the market, uh, but you can always increase your deductible for less premium, or you can have a less of a deductible and pay a little bit more. You can always have options. I would always explore what makes the most sense with you and your pocketbook and your family. That's great. And then the other question is, how are the deductibles handled in the case of a claim? So if you have your house burned down, obviously full, full damage, down to the ground, you don't have a house anymore, what happens with that deductible? Because I get that question quite a bit too. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's say we have coverage at 200,000 on that house and it completely burned to the ground and we've got a 1% deductible, which would be 2,000 of the 200,000. Mm -hmm. So the po total policy would pay out, the homeowner would get 190,000. Mm -hmm. They would subtract the deductible out before right. paying you. So you're not having to write a check for your deductible. So oh, I think no, that's really, absolutely. really important because a lot of people think I'm gonna have to write a check before I get my big check back. No, it is netted out of the big check. That so, is exactly correct. And then correct. you get the big check. So then you can pay out your contractors and whatnot. So another question that's really good for real estate agents especially to know and borrowers is what's called a clue report. Mm. So tell us basically what a clue report is. A clue report is so important and it's gonna be really important. What I like my realtors to really look at is during their option period. When the new buyer is coming in and purchasing a house during that option period, I want you to refer them to their insurance agent, to me, whomever, and I want them to run a clue report. A clue report is gonna go back for five years and it's gonna give us a history on that house. If there was a $20,000 water claim, mm -hmm. I wanna know what repairs were done, what was completed, what occurred. Right. Was it, uh, was it their two-year-old that just put a stuffed animal in the toilet and it overflowed? <laughs> no biggie. Oh, or was it actually plumbing in the pipes in the house? Uh, especially when I buy, purchase a house, I wanna know all facts. I wanna know what my rate is. I wanna know what my monthly mortgage payment is. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what I'm purchasing as well, most right. importantly. Right. And also it helps for you to be able to do your insurance quote as early on as possible, right after you've written a contract. And the reason is because during that option period is your time to do inspections, 
check out your insurance options. All fact finding. And I have to be able to have the insurance quote in order to do an accurate estimate for your monthly payment and your down payment uh, cash to close part, right? Not your down payment necessarily, but your cash to close part. So very important to get that done up front. I, I have to tell people all the time, do not wait to the last minute to arrange your insurance because Absolutely. That's some smart. nasty very, surprises very can smart. pop up. I, so. I just love the way you treat your clients. I Thank really you. do. It just I, means the world. They're, they're I, protected. They're I appreciate protected. you too, especially on my own home. So, <laughs> um, so the next one then would be, what is the most common issue in getting a home insured? So what are some of the things up front when we're working with a client during their home loan process? What are some of the issues that you see? The biggest issue lately with all the hell storms that have been coming through San Antonio is that either the damages weren't repaired, so let's say the clue report comes up with a $20,000 roof claim on the home. Well, then we find out that the repairs weren't done. Um, that is usually when an underwriting issue starts to come about. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about underwriting from an insurance perspective. Keep in mind that there's underwriting on the loan perspective too. So if there is a roof issue, we both could have a problem. So. That's exactly correct. That is so. exactly correct. So what happens after we close? Okay. Uh, the family moves into their home. Obviously, they get their keys. They move in. They settle in. Of course, you know we're going to get like a million pieces of mail after closing, and we can do a whole other video on that. But one of the pieces <laughs> of mail that you're going to get after closing, hopefully not, but it could happen to you, is a cancellation notice on insurance. So tell me what happens after we close as homeowners? What's going on? Usually when I see that, um, it's usually because, and lately it's been because of the hell damage. Mm -hmm. um, the hell damage was not repaired by the prior owner, uh, which, is, uh, which is very disheartening because you have a new buyer that purchased the house and now there's hell damage all over the roof and now their policy is canceling because of the prior damage. Insurance companies don't want a home that has prior damage on it. All damages mm -hmm. on the exterior, the roof, the siding, any trees overhanging the roof, that's a common one as well. Okay. If the trees are overhanging and touching the roof or within five feet of the roof, that could lessen the life on the roof and insurance companies like them all nice, neat and trimmed. Great, well my trees are away from the roof, yay. so yay, very good, very good. <laughs> okay, so um, lastly I think what's really important too is that your policies are annual policies. So an insurance policy is written for a year and a common thing I get asked about is, well why Erica are you collecting a year plus two or three months and then why am I then paying my insurance out in my monthly payment? So I wanted to just address that before we kind of and the frequently asked questions. Get that question all the time as well. All so, the time. So her policy is due up front at closing and it's included at the closing table. So right when you get to the title company, they will cut the check to Shannon so that she can get the policy paid. I will make sure that that happens of course as well. But then every single month, we're making sure that a 12th of your policy renewal for 2019 in this example, is collected so that it can get paid when it comes up in a year, right? But we also have to remember that when we close, we usually are skipping 30, 60 days before the first payment's due. So we have to make sure that we have enough money in that escrow account to be able to pay when it comes up for renewal. No one wants a phone call, no. especially around the holidays, because that, you know, when people close in November, December, that's when we call them. Uh, no one wants a phone call in a year from now saying, hey, we don't have enough money to pay Shannon for your insurance renewal. Uh, we're short a month or two. So we have to make sure that we have enough money in that escrow account to cover you and no shortages occur. Same thing happens with taxes, but again, that's another video. So so anyway, so I wanted to say thank you again. Thank you. Because it really means a lot to me that we can share this knowledge with everyone. Because remember, knowledge is power, but only when you act on it. So you actually have to learn and then act on it. So if you need a customized insurance quote, I want you to remember Shannon's office phone number is 210-827-1997 with Versatile Insurance Planners. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video and for you sitting with me. Thank you so much for having me. Give me a call. Thanks.